Yo, what up? This is uh, B-Boy Sonny representing Soul Mavericks crew in the UK. I'm here with break advice for another lesson. Today I'm going to teach you three variations from Halo 1.5. Halo is a pretty well, well used move, it's a foundational move and it gets used a lot but no one really does variations with it and it's so easy to do. I'm just going to teach you some pretty basic ones like uh, nothing too crazy but it should change the dynamics in your power a little bit and give you some variation to a pretty basic power move. First I'm going to show you what the Halo 1.5 looks like. This is only for people that can Halo and Halo 1.5, obviously. So sorry if you're not there quite yet. Soon come. Now I'm going to show you the first variation, which is the Halo 1.5 to Crunch Mill. So how to do this one, when you kick, you start from here like a normal Halo windmill and you kick with this leg up over your head because you want to reach the top of your head here. So when you're doing it, kick up to here. And this point is the end of your kick when you're in this position. And this is where you bring your legs together. It looks, when you do it, it looks like you're in crunch mall for the whole thing. But really, you use the kick to get up and you just crunch for the end. So what you do is you get to here and then you crunch in from here. And that gives the crunch mill effect, but it's so easy. So the second one I'm gonna teach you is the same concept, pretty much exactly the same technique, but going to be Australian. Looks a lot different and the difference between the munch mill one and the Australian one is when you go and you tuck for the munch you gain speed but when you go for the Australian you slow down because your legs are out. This you can use it to increase your speed blah blah blah. Australian you use for me for flow and if you want to slow down a bit. If my power is going too fast and it's been high energy for a while, I want to slow it down to something smooth, Australian flows. So, same as before, you do the windmill, you use the kick here, up and over, uh, same as before, same technique, that's just the Halo 1.5 technique, and when you get here, you scoop this under. The only difference is that this is your kicking leg that you're uh, crunching with. So with the, uh, with the munch mill one, you kick and then you tuck like this. But with the halo one, during your thing, you'll be bringing it round, already bent and connecting it. So I'm gonna show you slowly one time. You should be able to see, you go here, kick, slowly bring it forward and tuck it in. Whereas the munch mill one, you go here, kick, crunch here. It's not a continuous thing. And then for the last one, it's a little bit more complicated and it uses a quite a different technique, but it's quite a, it's really nice way to break up your power. 
This one I call like a little stop and start kind of thing. The most important thing about this is the, uh, the stop and the start. So you halo, you catch here and you grab your leg through. So it goes halo, stop, through. The way to do this is uh, in two parts. First, you need to learn the halo where you chuck off this hand and you catch on your wrong hand. This is a good exercise and drill anyway for control and comfortability in halos. The best way to do this I'm going to show you slowly, but it's to really use your legs. So when you do it, you pivot, halo, catch. You need to counteract with your body and your arms. Halo, catch. And then the second part is pretty easy. So from the catch, you will have your momentum built up this way. And all you do there is take this arm and clack it behind here push it through, clack. When you, uh, when you catch, that's the most important part. Catch, use the momentum to come through. So that was my halo variation lesson. Hopefully, uh, it's pretty easy stuff, but it makes a big difference to your dance if you just variate these foundation power moves, you know. Uh, even if you do a flare with a variation to a varied windmill to a varied halo, it makes a completely different set to doing flare, windmill, halo. You can take your moves from foundation level to pretty high level and pretty interesting in such simple ways like this, you know. So. Hopefully you enjoyed and this was another break advised by me. Thank you very much. Now recognize